Out of nowhere, Carlos Sainz, the young Spaniard, is now being mentioned as the front runner to replace the American driver Logan Sargent at Williams come 2025 and to be alongside Alexander Albon. But let's start from the beginning of the year. At the beginning of the year, we heard some rumblings that a major driver change uh, was going to occur. And it happened to be Lewis Hamilton going to Ferrari. And the odd man out at Ferrari was Carlos Sainz. And a lot of people thought it was going to be a slam dunk going to Audi, in which it wasn't because he decided to give it some time. He looked at his options. He uh, talked to many different teams. He talked to Visa Cash App Racing Bulls about a potential ride. He talked to Toto Wolf and Mercedes about a potential ride. He talked to Aston Martin. He talked to Red Bull. He talked to, obviously, Audi, and he talked to Williams. But the number one thing Carlos Sainz is looking for in a contract is a longevity deal. And what that means is that Carlos Sainz, wherever he signs, he wants to be there for at least three years. He felt that everything he's done leading up to this point in his career is good enough to earn him a long contract where he can feel comfortable and not have to worry about going through the hassle of having to sign year in and year out. He does not want that to happen. And he's kind of putting that as a priority over good machinery, which in a way you got to respect. But going to Williams... I, I believe this right here could very well be true. But at the same time, though, this could help him negotiate with Audi for a better deal, if you will, because Audi's still going to be a project. If we're being honest here, Audi's not going to be competitive come 2026, like everyone's saying. It's going to be by 2029, 2030 at the earliest that they'll be competitive. Williams is right there at it. So I can see the rumors being actually true. But at the same time, though, I would kind of look around. Red Bull is looking to re-sign Sergio Perez, but if he has a mid-season slump like he did last year, it may be available. But please like and subscribe.